Oops. At first I thought these were deer tracks, but actually they look like something with paws went running through here last night. Yesterday was a rainy day, so I really didn't do a whole lot. As you could see, I built some small cages to put on my melons because the deer got into them. I've lost six seedlings. I thought maybe we'd have some deer in the field last night, but there wasn't any. As I uh, showed you previously, there looks like something like a predator or a dog, canine, ran through here last night. Um, everything seems to be okay. I'm now gonna walk through my little orchard and see how everything's doing. And this is my apple. And my elderberries, they were doing really well, but I may have lost them to the deer. This one's coming back up. And then we have an old plum tree that's not doing very well. I'm probably going to have to replace it. This was an apple tree, and I had scions on it. I thought I was going to have luck with one, but all three of them died. And the last one finally fell out. We'll have better luck next year, maybe. It's another elderberry. Another small fig. And a grapevine, which isn't producing any grapes, so we'll be replacing this one, too. We've got a nice pear tree. It's full of pears. And the deer have been nibbling on it quite a bit. I think I need to start pulling these off and seeing if I can make some pear jam or something, maybe some pear butter. Another lost elderberry. If you look around, there's poop. I'm not sure if that's deer poop or rabbit poop. Pumpkin poop. And then here is my asparagus, which something's been nibbling on. An elderberry that's in a little bit better shape. More asparagus. These four trees are peach and nectarines. We actually did get some fruit on this big tree, but because I neglected it, everything was full of worms. So, maybe next year. Come on, Justice, back to the house. Justice, come on. Good girl. Today's project is gonna be working on our planting table. It needs some help. So this is one of two junk piles and today I'm going to use one of these boards, I don't know what it's called, if I did say it, it would probably be wrong, 
I'm going to use it and cut it into 32 inch sections and these are going to be the legs on my planting station. There are some old corded woodworking tools here, but I'm really not comfortable using them. So I'm going to use my Ryobi battery powered chainsaw to do all the work for me today. And I have my power screwdriver and some various screws. As you can see, that was not a DIY or a tutorial. It was basically me just showing you that with limited carpentry skills and tools, you can make things out of items that you have lying around your home, homestead, or farm to create things that you can use. That plant stand originally was sitting on the ground. I had lifted it up on some sawhorses and it just wasn't working so I decided that I was going to put some make some legs put some legs on it and let it stand up on its own and be a proper height for me and my mother-in-law so that we weren't bending over breaking our backs so 
what I did <laughs> and it's done. I want to thank you all again for coming by and visiting my blog and being a participant in my adventure and hopefully I will see you next time. Have a great day. Thank you.